again a next question from magnetism it says a rectangular loop of side 10 and 5 centimeter carrying current i of 12 ampere is placed in different orientations as shown so this is the loop and the external field respectively given we need to see the orientation in stable and unstable equilibrium so quite obviously the loop behaves as the moment and if moment is parallel to b it's stable anti parallel it's unstable so there is no question of talking about stable or unstable equilibrium in this and this because their moment vector is perpendicular to b vector now if we see in case number b the magnetic moment is up and b is up so parallel so it's a case of stable likewise this is the case of unstable so b is in stable equilibrium d is in unstable equilibrium so that will lead us to option number one so for this question question number 22 the answer is one and now we'll move to question number 23 23rd question is again from magnetism and there are two long coaxial solenoids and they carry current in same direction and if F1 is the force on inner due to outer and F2 force on outer due to inner we got to choose the correct option first of all F2 would be zero that's a very easy conclusion because force on outer due to inner the field due to inner solenoid would be zero outside so if there is no external field the outer solenoid will experience zero force and the force on inner solenoid would also be zero because the field due to outer solenoid is uniform and in a uniform field a loop would experience zero force so the whole inner solenoid can be thought to be made up of number of loops stacked one above the other that finally results to zero force and will have correct option as third so answer three is for question number 23 let's move to question number 24 